If there is one thing I'm absolutely passionate about, it's video creation. And let me tell you, I'm the kind of person who's always testing new tools and platforms, probably spending way too much time online. But hey, somebody got to do the research, right? I have witnessed firsthand how AI is transforming video creation, and I have tested tons of AI video tools out there, both the hits and the misses. Today, I'm breaking down my top picks, the tools I have found to be more useful and comparing their features and real-world performance. No fluff, just honest insight from someone who's actually used the tools. Let's get started. Let me show you Opus Pro, which has become my go-to tool for quick video repurposing. I will be using one of my previous videos to demonstrate you all the features. First, I will upload my video. Now that our video has uploaded, you can see there are several options you and I could work with. First, Opus Pro does let us add keywords, which means it would help the AI detect the theme of the video and what it should focus on when it's clipping it. So make sure you use your keywords. Next up, you can choose the length of your video. Then of course you can select the genre of your video, which means it would also help the AI detect the theme of the video. And also remove any unwanted parts of the video, either in the beginning or at the end by just clipping it off right here. You can also choose a cool caption template, like down here. You have many options with different kinds of styles, so you can pick the one that fits you best. You can also change the aspect ratio of your videos. You have vertical, which is perfect for TikTok and Reels. You have the square one for Instagram posts. And finally, the horizontal one, perfect for YouTube videos. Now that I have adjusted everything that I wanted, I can click on Get Clips with one click. As you can see, we have two videos to work with. The first one is the actual video in its full length, just clipped vertically and with added captions. And the second one is actually clipped to be 48 seconds long. On the right side, as you can see, these are the transcripts of the videos. And on the left side, we have something that's called viral score. So what it means is that AI will kind of look at the video and how it's presented and give you a score. This viral score depends on a couple of things, including hook, flow, value, and trend. This feature I think really helps out the user pick out the best video. And now we have landed in the actual editing section where we can adjust so many more things to make this clip even better. The first thing that stands out is that the interface is extremely easy, so it's very easily understandable and there's no learning curve, which I appreciate. On the bottom, you can see the timeline, which shows you how the video is actually clipped. And of course, you can still clip out a couple of things if you're not satisfied with the result. So on the right side, as you can see, is the transcript of the video with some words that are highlighted. You can select any of the words that you would want to adjust and right click to edit further. For example, you can change the color. Also, may I add that the accuracy for the captions are perfect to the T. I'm impressed. Another great thing is that you can add emojis to increase the engagement. Also, you have the option to add some transitions. Honestly, to me, these transitions look quite the same to one another, but you know, to each is their own. And as you adjust anything, you will see that everything you change adjusts in the timeline itself. So by clicking here, you can add some AI made B-roll, which are gonna be images with a zoom in effect. Everything is adjustable. So if you would want to replace some of this B-roll, just click on the image and you can change the prompt to whatever you want. Moving forward, you also have the option to add some music and even voiceovers to your videos. Let's see how it looks. Now let's talk about Canva's Magic Studio, which has completely transformed how I approach visual content creation. That came out really cool. Notice how it maintained the message while optimizing for social media, that's incredible. The platform really shines when you need to create multiple social media versions of your content quickly. While it might not have advanced features like AI avatars, it excels at its core purpose, fast, efficient video repurposing. Now let me show you Pictory AI, which is perfect for turning any text content into engaging videos. I will demonstrate this by using an article about AI social media management tools. First thing you will notice when you land on the homepage is several ways of making videos. First up, you have text to video. That means you can paste in any kind of script that you have written or maybe even generated in ChatGPT and the AI will create a video using that text and information. Next up, you have URL to video. This means you can paste in a link from a article or a blog and similar to text to video, 
the AI will create a video with that information. Then you have AI video editor for existing content that you have. Another option is images to video where it will create a beautiful image slideshow. And the last but not least, also a new feature is PowerPoint to video, meaning you put in your PowerPoint presentation and get a beautiful video out of it. For this video, I'm gonna be using the URL to video. So let me paste in the link right here and click generate video. Here we can see the actual article on the left side with all the images and all the text. So this is where the AI is taking all the information from. And on the right side is the summary. These are all the scenes that are gonna appear in the video. In total, there are 32. So this is the text from the article summarized in 32 scenes. Each scene is gonna be its own visual and the text on the scenes are gonna be the captions that will appear. Of course, here you can edit the text, arrange the order and also delete the scenes, but you will also be able to do that later. But now let's move on and hit next. And over here we have the timeline that we can work with and as well as the summary. As I mentioned previously, you can edit the text, you can take out words or add words. And over here you can see our video has been generated. The AI has added relevant stock footage relevant to the text that it summarized. You also have the option to change out the visuals that you might not think that fit the best in that scene. For example, I'm gonna search for AI and see if I can find a better visual for this scene. I like this one, there you go. That looks way better. Of course, you can add also some music to your video as well as an AI voiceover. Speaking of voiceovers, you have many voices to choose from and also you can use these filters to see which kind of voice fits your video best. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rates. So going through this list of voices, I think I'm going to go Chris for my video because I think his voice better fits the AI theme of my video. Now let's check out the overall quality of this video. Imagine a world where your social media practically runs itself, freeing you to focus on what truly matters. Welcome to the future of social media management, where AI tools are revolutionizing how we connect and engage online. As a freelancer, solopreneur, or small business owner, harnessing AI for social media is no longer optional but essential for success. In this video, we'll explore the top 5 AI tools for social media management in 2024 that can amplify your online presence. Overall, Pictory is pretty cool. I think it has excellent automation. It has a very understandable interface. However, with Pictory, I did find to have somewhat of um, limited voice options. Also, there were some pronunciation issues, so that could be definitely a problem. Pictory, I think, is quite perfect for content creators who want to repurpose their articles and blogs into engaging videos with almost no effort. Let's move on to HeyGen, focusing on how it creates AI avatar videos. I will be walking you through a real example on how to use their platform. On HeyGen, we're gonna be creating a vertical informative video. We're gonna begin by clicking on the avatar video. They also do offer video translations. Let's move on to the vertical one. And as you can see here, we already have many things to do. We have a blank slate, so let's get to work. First up, I'm gonna choose a cool template. As you can see, there are plenty to choose from. They all look quite professional and cool. So since I wanna talk about AI, I think I'm gonna go with this guy. Next up, since they do specialize on AI avatars, I will be changing out the avatar just to show you how it's done. I think she looks quite cool. And also she does have different looks. I think she might be quite cool for what I have in mind. I'm gonna be removing some elements that don't fit my video. As you can see, everything is adjustable even in the templates. Let me change out the text at the top to fit our video. So now that we have the template down and the avatar, let's move on to script. You can click on the script button right there. It's pretty obvious. And let's see. So over here, you will be putting in the script that you want narrated in your video. The narration is gonna be done by an AI voiceover. So what I'm gonna be doing is pasting in a script that I already have prepared right here. And clicking up here, this is where you're gonna be choosing your AI voice. 
So each AI avatar does have a voice already kind of signed up to them, and there are a couple of options, but also you have the option to import your own up here. Also, you can look through HeyGen library. This is where you're gonna be finding the entire library of all the voices and even different languages. So I'm a little bit curious. I do speak Latvian and I would love to hear what their Latvian sounds like. So let's see. It's interesting how all of these names are mostly in English. So that makes me already believe that these might not be completely adapted to the language. But let's listen to one. Okay. So it does sound a little bit robotic. But one thing to remember is that if you are changing the language, then you also have to make sure that your script is in the language that you chose. Otherwise, it's just gonna sound off. You also have the option to translate your script from English or any other language to another one by clicking up here. Here you can find your language and translate the script you have pasted. So from reading the script a little bit over the top, it is well translated. It's not the worst. I've seen worse. So now let's test the voice with the actual Latvian script. As I said before, it does sound a little bit robotic. The pronunciation even on Latvian words is not the best. Definitely for this kind of platform, I would go with English because it does do a really good job. For the sake of this example, I will go with Candice's assigned voice. Moving on from the script, of course, you also have an option to add some text on the video itself. So over here, you can see there's all kinds of fonts and colors you can use for your video. This will not be narrated by the AI voice. And of course, you also have the option to add many other things such as frames, you have stickers, icons, images, videos, shapes, and even music. Let's add a fun tune to my video. Let me put it right here. And let's adjust the volume. And let's see. Hello everyone. Let's talk about how AI can improve our lives. And over here is where you would upload your own visuals and assets to add to your videos. So now it looks like our video is done. However, until we finalize this, we're not gonna see our avatar move. So let's generate this video and see how it looks. Hello everyone. Let's talk about how AI can improve our lives. From simplifying everyday tasks to transforming how we work and connect, AI is making waves everywhere. So looking at our result, I will say that the AI voiceover was quite robotic, especially her movement. It wasn't very natural. So I would say definitely the non-English options would need quite an improvement. Overall, this tool is pretty cool for what it is. Freeplan was quite restricted, I found, and the processing time, of course, varies depending on how heavy your video is. But now let's move on to the next. Let me walk you through Synthesia, one of the most comprehensive AI avatar platforms I have tested. Over here, as you can see, you have three options already offered to you how to make your video. First up, you have the new video option, which you can use a template or a completely blank canvas. Next up is AI Video Assistant, which means AI will be helping you quite a bit with the process of creating your video, and it is only a premium option. And last but not least, you have the PowerPoint presentation import, which if you import your presentation, it will convert it into a lovely educational video. So for this video, I'm gonna do a new video and choose a cool template. Let's see what we have. As you can see, there are plenty of options to choose from. They all look very clean and very professional. So we can already tell who this tool is geared towards. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's very clean and aesthetic. Here we are in our workspace where everything is customizable and adjustable to our needs. So first up, if you look to the left of the screen is where you have all of your scenes. It is very similar to a PowerPoint presentation. So it's very easily understandable. On the very bottom is where your script is gonna go and this is gonna be narrated by the AI avatar. On the right side, you have all of your tools where you can adjust minor little things. And on the very top, you have more things to add and adjust. So let's 
start creating our video and see what this tool offers. So first what I'm gonna do is change out the avatar. This looks like a lovely lady, but I wanna see what else I can get. As you can see, there's plenty to choose from. Let's scroll through. Some of them do have backgrounds, some of them are cutouts. For my kind of video, a cutout will work just fine. I'm gonna go with her. I think she fits in with my video very well. Also, you can change the background of your video. So there are a couple of ways to do this. First is going up here and clicking on space. These are dedicated images that you can put on the background of your video. However, what I'm gonna do is go the other way. I'm gonna click on media and search for a background image there. I'm gonna type in office and see what I can find. So I think I like this image. I'm just gonna click on it and then it's gonna appear on my screen. Right click and then replace background. And voila, background is changed. That looks amazing. One thing I would like to mention is that everything on the screen can have a cool entry or exit, so animations. You would find them right here and you can animate your avatar, your text, your logo or any other element that appears on your video. And now for the exciting part. At the very bottom is where you would put in your script and that is gonna be narrated by the avatar. Since we have the opening scene, now I would like to have like a breakdown of what it is to come in the video. So I think this is the perfect one. And the cool thing, if you paid attention, is that it actually already put in the AI avatar I had in the previous slide on this one. So you don't have to do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my text that I want this lady to say. Also what you can add are natural pauses. So if your AI by any chance sounds a little robotic and you would like to add a more of a human natural pause, what you can do is click on this little icon right here and it will add a pause. You can move it and add it just about anywhere in the text and adjust the time. This tool is extremely helpful to really make your AI voice sound very natural. Now I have finished animating all the elements that I need to. Let's see how it looks. We're here to discuss a topic that's increasingly shaping our professional and personal lives. The future of work and how AI is transforming jobs and skill sets. As AI technology rapidly advances, it's essential to understand its influence on our work landscape, the new opportunities it brings, and the challenges we need to navigate. In this presentation, we're gonna be covering overview of AI's growing presence, how AI is changing job roles, and upskilling and reskilling. Artificial intelligence has moved from being a futuristic concept to an integral part of our everyday lives and industries. This is almost the most natural I've seen AI avatar. So as I mentioned before, it is more for like corporate focus, like training material. It is very professional and very clean looking and also very high quality. So this platform is ideal for businesses needing professional looking presentational videos, especially those ones who require consistent training and educational content in multiple languages. So since Synthesia and HeyGen are both AI avatar platforms, I think HeyGen does offer a bit more customization when it comes to their elements, but it doesn't produce the same quality as Synthesia. The quality on this platform is amazing. The paid plans are a bit high, but I think for what you get in return is worth it. Also, Synthesia offers way more languages and their avatars and voices are way more lifelike than HeyGen's. After testing these AI video platforms extensively, here is the bottom line. Each platform serves different needs. Opus Clip works wonderfully for creating short social media content. Victory is perfect for quick content repurposing. Hey Jen shines with its avatar customization and Synthesia is your go-to for professional training videos. Remember that all the tools I covered in this video have free trials so you can test them out yourself. What kind of AI tools would you like me to review next? Leave your suggestion in the comments below. See you in the next one.